Hello everyone, how are you all? My name is Virender and I welcome you all to the DevOps and Cloud YouTube channel. So before starting the video, I want you to all that please subscribe our channel and do join our WhatsApp and Telegram channel as well from the given QR code as well as in the description you will find the link to join our WhatsApp group and our Telegram group. So hey, I hope you all are fine and doing great in your job or in your career or in your studies. So we are going to start a particular series in which we are going to provide you all short videos on a particular topics which are related to the AWS, maybe related to DevOps, network security, cloud engineer, DevOps engineer, all this. So for today, our topic is basically the difference between security groups and network access controls. This particular topic, guys, is basically related to your AWS network security. So if we talk about the security of a network, it's a very important thing for an organization, for a company, for a website, for an application, that you must be aware about the security perspective of your organization. So if you're working on the AWS cloud, maybe as a cloud engineer or maybe cloud network engineer, you must know about these two terms. The first term is basically security groups. Fine. And the second is your network access control list or you can say NACL. Now, I want to give you a basic example of our household day-to-day -day life so that you will be most aware about that. The, what is the difference between these two? It's a very... Uh, so many people found it difficult. Sometimes they just confuse between the security groups and network access control. So the, the, let's just take a very, very basic example of our house. Let's say in your house, you have three rooms. Let's say this is your house. I'm just drawing this particular house. So uh, this is your house. Uh, you know, in childhood, we used to draw that kind of hut in the paint, right? So this is what... Uh, your room or your houses. Okay, in that particular house, you have three rooms. Room number one, room number two, and room number three. So this is your private room. This is your guest room. And this is your, let's say, bedroom. All right? Okay. Now, you have a main gate in front of your house. This is your main gate. Now, in your house, you have two kinds of security guards one security guard who is sitting in front of your house or in outside of your house and one security guard is over here inside your house you are a billionaire person so you have two security guards in a particular house right okay now you have told him a set of rules to this particular security guard and some rules you have given to this particular security guard whatever the rules you have given to this uh, security guard number two let's say and this is security guard number one let's say now you have given rules to this particular security guard that if someone is coming from x address allow him to enter inside the house and if someone is not coming from the x address don't allow to enter inside particular house which means deny that person that you cannot enter inside the house right okay now to the security guards number two, you have given some rules that if someone is coming from my family or from my friends, which means from X address and from X Y identity, if these people are coming, allow them to enter inside my private room. Okay. And if someone is coming from outside world, that if someone is coming from public or someone is coming from my neighborhood or they are guest, please allow them to enter inside the guest room. They can enter inside the guest room and they can access what they, whatever they want inside the guest room. But whoever is coming from the outside or from the public world, they can enter inside the guest room, but they cannot access the private room accessories and they cannot even access the bedroom accessories as well. So you have applied a set of rules to that particular security guard that you must allow these kind of peoples and you must allow these kind of peoples to that particular places. Just like that, you have given some set of rules to the security guard number one.
that if someone is coming from x address please allow them to enter inside the house and if someone is not coming from the x address everyone expect, except from this particular address just deny all the people now how you can relate this example to your security groups and your network access control list this person who is working individually on all the rooms is nothing but your security group because in aws your server the hardware the server in your on premises or in physical world is called as a virtual machine inside aws or is called as an instance right ec2 instance so the person who is working on the rooms these rooms are nothing but this is ec2 instance 1 instance number 2 instance number 3 which means the guest room is your public server what this is your public server which means the public website you have deployed on that particular server right anyone from the public can access that particular server you have allowed all the https traffic is coming from the internet can access that particular server access can particular website right but this particular server is your private server or let's say this is your database server you are not allowing anyone from the public and enter inside that particular you just allowing coming someone who is coming from x and someone is coming from y only they can enter inside this private room which means let's say in your organization you have two teams the first team is your database administrator team and the second team is your let's say uh, development team so you are just allowing database team and development team they can only enter inside that particular server and do the updation or maybe any kind of task in your organization so the security group works on the instances level or on the virtual machines level you have to set your inbound rules who can enter inside and you have to set your outbound rules who can go outside from your servers just like that network access control list work on the subnet level subnet is nothing but we will talk about later that part as well what are subnets uh, just for now just uh, just uh, subnet is equal to your complete house your house is the subnet and these rooms are the virtual machines right so this is subnet and this security guard outside of your house outside of your subnet that security guard is nothing but nacl network access control list it handles that who can enter inside your environment and who can go outside in your environment right so if you are giving allow permissions to someone enter inside your organization you must have to explicitly give the permission that okay this person can also go outside from your organization so on the network access control list level on the subnet level you must have to give the allow rules and you must have to give the outbound or deny rules as well explicitly right but if you have allowed someone enter inside your private room they can go outside from your private room you do not have to explicitly give permissions to go outside from your virtual machines right this is how your security groups and your network access control list works in the real time scenario guys okay i hope that you are now very clear in the difference between your security groups and your network access control list if you have any kind of doubts and if you have any kind of questions or even you want that please give us a, these kind of examples to understand better all the concepts of aws and devops do comment in the comment box section i will wait for your comments i will wait for your suggestions and do let me know how you feel now between the security groups and network access control list are you now very much comfortable on this or not we will meet you in the next video till then take care bye bye thank you so much